guess I found some peace Through the day to the evening Without shouting and screaming Something new to me Alone without being lonely Getting back to the old me It's kinda nice to feel free I thought this was so Good morning guys, but welcome back to today. It's 6.30 a.m. I'm the only one awake. You're probably thinking, what? Ellie, get back here. Come on. You're probably thinking, well, Laura, your family should be up. Gabby needs school. Well, today, Gabby doesn't go to school. She has an appointment and it's her birthday. It's her 17th birthday. I can't believe it. 17 years ago, I can't believe it's been 17 years. Like happens in a flash you guys know it's so fast like I get criticized on my parenting philosophies and practices all the time online but the truth is I already did this once my oldest son is 35 years old turning 36 this year I know what it, I know how fast it goes and I know the mistakes that I made I know the things I wanted to change with the girls and so far I've I've changed them Having kids super far apart is such a weird situation. It enables you to figure out what worked and what didn't work and gives you the opportunity to change it. And I appreciate that so much. Like, it was so amazing to be able to raise my boys the way I was taught. And then to raise my girls the way that I felt more comfortable. And it's been amazing. I'm so proud of Gabby. And maybe not for the reasons that you guys think. She has taught me so much about people and about the world and she's only 17 doesn't even know anything about the world yet really but she's completely different than me and if I wanted to have a relationship with her I had to really change who I was adjust who I was really to learn about her and what she needed and I think I am such a better person for knowing her and I appreciate the fact that she taught me so much anyway happy birthday Gabby well, look at how beautiful it is Imagine if I slept in, I'd miss all this beauty. All right, the quiet before the storm. Oh, she hears me. Say hi, Ellie. Isn't she the cutest Yorkie though? I love her. The fact that she's my, my sidekick just makes her that much better. Hi, babies. Wow, it's almost like my birthday. You showed up before I even got started. That's amazing. I was just looking. I heard you talking outside, and I thought you were coming up, so I ran. <laughs> oh, did you think you were gonna get in trouble? Yeah. Oh. This is how my workstation is going. This is a mineral supplement that we give them. This is a bucket that we use for grain. I often use this powder as like a dewormer, preventative, even though I know they say you're not supposed to, but it's been working for me. Things are going well with her. She gives me the same amount of milk all the time. You got a lot of milk in there, Missy. Oh, I like that, huh? Yeah, love it. So, I've been bringing my phone down in the mornings because Sophie doesn't usually get here when I'm here. So I've been bringing my phone down and listening to videos of people that I haven't been able to watch for a long time because I've been so busy. And it's really been working out. It's been, this is probably the most peaceful time of my day. Once the goats are all fed, they calm right down and then Lola and I just, or, and then, Blossom and I just sit here and milk. In fact, I had a huge glass of her milk this morning and it was so good. All right, so that's the milk for today. You, I don't know if you can tell, there's four cups, no, two cups of milk in there. Well, hello, baby. You're pretty cute. Yes, you are. He's like, I want some milk. Go get your own milk. Your mama has milk. Look, he looks gray in the camera. Everybody wants the milk. Anyway, I got four cups from her. Did you, you have to show how easy they go? I got four, I get four cups a day from her. Four you cups. Grain to put outside. You forgot the grain outside? She is a good little milk goat. And when I drink the milk this morning, like I drink it every morning, it tastes like ice cream. Goat milk is actually so good. Like 
You don't realize cow's milk has a, like a aftertaste and a residue kind of like in your mouth until after you drink goat's milk. Then it just feels clean. I don't know how to describe it. Look at that little white guy up there. <laughs> he, they're like, let me out. All right, here we go. Hey, Mocha. <laughs> Mocha's she has like, the same crazy eyes as her daughter. <laughs> All right, oops, sorry Ellie. All right, here we go. Baby number one. Baby number two. Blossom just stayed in for fun. She's looking for her baby. Oh, she's looking for her baby? He's not going out with you. Did you let him out already? No. Come on, Chubby. It's like she's like, I'll stay in my stall today. Right, it is time. Sylvia always picks her horse to go first. Well, I was gonna go for Willow, but Willow, I mean, honey, but Willow is in the thing. To yeah, we always go smallest to biggest. We always go smallest to biggest. Comment below how you pick your horses to get their feet done. Look at how much gray she's getting around her little eye. See it? Oops, I didn't get to... She still acts like she's five. She still does act like she's five. She is 21 years old now and barely any gray, honestly. Like, she has a little bit of gray around her eyes and that's it. The horses are all done. They all have fresh feet. I love fresh feet on our horses. I'm almost ready to start taking Storm back for Gabby to ride. But today's her birthday and um, he's excited to get going again. He needs to lose a little bit of weight. I saw some pretty, pretty cellulite on his butt today. But holy man, every time I come outside, I think it's gonna be warm with all this sun and it is freezing, like winter freezing. So I'm just doing my midday checks making sure that everybody's here and you guys storm is awful and i know nobody believes it because they see penny being awful but penny's only awful because she's in this state of being scared of storm and it's not just penny it's also everybody like that baby spends her whole day on, on the other side of the fen because she can't eat peacefully and have to watch for storm like i know you guys don't get it but it is storm that's causing the problems so i'm always checking just to make sure everybody's okay like a million times a day and he's always been like a bit of aggressive a bit aggressive like he just trying to be a leader but he just doesn't kind of he's just not he's he's an awkward boy but anyways goats got out again so sam i showed i told sam where they're breaking out they're all over here but they can get in and out so i'm not going to worry about them uh oh penny Run from Penny, cause she's, Oh, you want me? She's so sweet. So uh, one tradition that we have in our family, every single one of us loves ice cream cake for our birthday. So we're having an ice cream cake, except for Sophia and except for Sam. All right, so we have McDonald's for lunch. Gabby had a big, big day today. So it's her birthday and on her birthday, she did her driving test. So in Canada, you can only get your birth your license on your on a year after you get your learner's permit. So it's been exactly a year to today. Did you pass your driving test? Yes. She's a driver. She's an official driver. Are you driving to school tomorrow? Yeah. Yep. We filled up her tank. So yep. She can drive alone. She doesn't have to have anybody with her. She's free. You're free. You can do anything now. Oh, she's not that free. I have like a Yeah, so she can't drive from midnight till 5 a.m. So she's not free until she's only free. She's only free till midnight. You're like Cinderella. You're like Cinderella. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. The ice cream cake is melting. What happened to that? That was not like that. The ice cream cake <laughs> is melting. <laughs> you better blow it out. Happy birthday, Gabby. Right. Look this time. Yeah. <laughs> so Sam bought, <laughs> Sam bought these candles for my birthday. And they didn't work. And they're like, they don't blow out and they didn't work. I blew it out. I blew it out and now they're working for Gabby. You know you're a crazy goat person when you can identify which goat is screaming. It's Winston and his mom are both calling to each other. Anyway, the craziest thing, when you have free ranging chickens, it's hilarious because Everywhere I go, oh, Ellie, don't chase them. I'll find like sunbathing chickens and it's so funny. Let's see if I can find some. Today I was walking over here to get water. Oh, they're gone. But they were like laying there, two of them, all rolled over in the sun. They looked like so happy. It's just so funny. Come on. I was wrong. It's Winston and Rocky. It's Rocky. 
Rocky's screaming too. I think Rocky is crying because all the goats have gone. He's happy when they're all there and he can see them. But I think when they're out having adventures and he's stuck here, it makes him sad. <laughs> Are you sad, Winston? Are you lonely? So it's him that yells. No, and him too. They Yesterday and today. Oh, goodness. You love that. It's still freezing out. Like the sun is out, so it's bearable, but it's cold. Like I could put mitts on. Face. I know he actually does have such a cute face. He, his face looks just like Rocky's. Just a lighter like version. Like a lighter version. <laughs> he's used to being held, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so see, he looks the same I... at the top and then he's light in the middle. It's true, she stole him from his mother as soon as she saw him. It was love at first sight for both of them. But his mom is still really attached. No goats. It's been three weeks since we've been to riding lessons. Uh, we had to cancel once for something. I forget there was a reason. And then the next two times, the barn canceled, I think. Most of the times it was from weather though. Anyway, Sophie's gonna get the barn ready for tonight so that we can come down and just let the goats in. And I am going to spend a few minutes and they get some more of this picked up. This is where they're getting through. I wanted to film it so I can show Sam. He thought he fixed everything, but this is how. Yep, that's fixed. Little bit each day, you guys. <laughs> Literal back spasms. But it's pretty easy to do. It's just, I have to build up my stamina. The pile is shrinking. How does it feel to be caged up? It actually feels nice to be down here with no goats running all over and acting crazy. You know, this would be good if you're holding a bucket of rain so the goats couldn't get to you. So today I saw Lola humping Cricket. <laughs> I think it's about dominant because they're both girls. But last night on the camera system, I was watching them when they were supposed to be in bed. And Lola just lays there and goes to sleep like a good little girl. And she, she gets up and eats every once in a while. And Cricket bothers her. She like jumps on her. She treats her like she's her mom. So she jumps on her. She pushes her. She nudges her. And then when she lays down to go to sleep, she literally lays right on top of Lola. And so I think that's what today is about. All right. We got chores finished. And... Sophie's gonna try a horse. I'm not gonna video it. Why am I not gonna video it? I'm not gonna video it because it's not our horse. Uh, but when we find the horse, I will video it. So I'll tell you that this horse is a uh, mare. So I will tell you that this horse is not everything that I wanted, what we've been looking for. She um, is a mare, that's the big thing. And Sophie really wants a gelding. And whether mares and geldings are just as good, it's true, but she finds it easier with a gelding than with a mare, which I don't get because she's really good with her mares. But for riding, she prefers a gelding. She's done both and she prefers a gelding. So it's not a gelding. It's a good height. It's a good size. I think this horse is like similar to Watcha's size, if you guys know who Watcha is. And she's 16'1". Um, so all of that's good. She's a good age. Even though she doesn't tick every single one of my boxes, she ticks a lot of them. And one of the big things that I really like about her, I've been watching videos of this horse for the last little while, and she always has her ears forward. Her tail is so calm and so quiet, and she seems to be enjoying herself. And that is a huge thing that I want. I want a horse, finally, that likes what it's doing. I want a horse that like is happy. I want a happy horse. Not all horses are happy. Not all dogs are happy. But do you know who is happy? Whoops. Bring her over here. Whoops. <laughs> Ellie, come but on. do you know who is happy? Ellie, come on. My little Ellie. My little Ellie bear is such a... Here, let me help you. Come on. Oops, so come on. Put her, put her in here. No, you're scaring her. She's a happy girl. She just likes to be with me and just likes to do whatever I'm doing. And that's what I want for Sophie. I want a horse that's happy. Daisy does not like outside. Yeah, like Daisy is so sweet. Sweetest dog we have. But she doesn't love farm life. She's like a put a leash on her and take her for a walk kind of a dog. Even though she's supposed to be a good Even though she's supposed to be, she's deaf and that's really changed her personality or maybe that's just her personality. And then they, um, Ruby, Golden Doodles tend to be super friendly dogs and Ruby is such a farm dog, such a happy dog, such a friendly dog. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Because this thing's walking See, open. that's what would happen if you were that chubby. You'd never be able to fit through the door. <laughs> All right, you would be able to fit through the door. You'd have to be pretty chubby not to fit through the door.
There's a go outside this door for sure. Wait for me. That's actually cool. It's a twiny, twisty thing. Don't you know that you're beautiful?